but without further ado, we went down to the swamps to get something funky for you. So we, we grabbed a, a good old friend of mine, and he is one of the grooviest motherfunkers I've ever met. Beautiful music-loving people. He's got his compadre with him. Please make some noise for my dear friend, Mr. Ivan Neville. Skip Thank you, thank you. My man Devin Truscott on the drums right there. I try to do it like we went down to New Orleans. We love it here in Asheville. We've been here in a while. But we still believe that New Orleans is the greatest place on earth. Please. 
New Orleans, the greatest place on earth. All right. So I got a new record called Touch My Soul. And I, I got an idea to write a song out the blue, just one song. And um, we've been, we've been, um, we've been not getting along as good as I think we should be getting along as as a, as a people. We don't, we don't, um, we're not as neighborly as I think we should be toward one another. We don't show each other enough love. I just say it like that. And I think we just should do that. Why not? You know. So here's a song in that spirit. thank my man Carl Denson for inviting us to come be a part of the hang and I heard it was going to be in Asheville I'm like I ain't been in Asheville in a long time and so me and Devin we doing a little format we were doing this kind of format like during the pandemic when we started doing some live stream shows I did a few and we did they were called what were they called drums and scrape 
Scrape, they used to call me Scrape back in the day. So this is kind of what this is, drums and scrape. And uh, yeah, so I hope you did, you know, hope you did. We're gonna go back right now. We're gonna go back to, to a song I wrote back in 1987.
Thank you. That felt good. This is Devin Trust Square on the drums, y'all. Devin Trust Square. Yeah. Devin plays, we have a band called Dumpster Funk. Devin plays drums. With. Some of y'all know, know that band, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to go. So it's been a while since I put a record out. And um, I was inspired by... Uh, some, some, some stuff, you know, um, and uh, this is the title song to the record, and I got a couple of, I got a few copies of the LP, if anybody might want one, but I got a few of them, and I'll sign it for you, if you want it, uh, I, I, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it, but I kind of do, I want you to know about it, <laughs> check this tune out, pretty, pretty cool little song, called Touch My Soul. I just realized how similar Another day I wake up Blessing found inside. I get another chance to make it feel all right. But life that shines me and shows me.
Thank you. Thanks. I got another little tune. This one, um, so it's funny, like when you, I've been writing songs like over the years. I've written some collaborative things with, with Dumpster Funk and um, me and my friend Chris Jacobs out of Baltimore. We got a band called Neville Jacobs. We co-wrote some songs together. And, um, I had never sat, I hadn't sat down in a long time, just at the piano and just made just some thoughts and but whatever. And kind of, you know, as you, as you grow older a little bit, you start learning a few things. And um, it's funny, it's funny how it's like, you know, <laughs> you, you learn, you, you, you realize how much you don't know, basically. The older you get, you learn how, how much you do not know. <laughs> And it's funny because when we're young, we think we know so much and we can't wait to get old. And then we and then I live we live a lot of years and we realize we waste a lot of time. And then we like, damn, this is the only life I really got. I got this one life. I need to be, do some good shit with it if I can, you know? And so you, you you come to these realizations. And so when you're writing songs, sometimes I get I get in that in that mode. So uh, some of this stuff is reflective of that of just learning, living, living life and learning. So I hope, you know, hope something, I think that's why I call the record Touch My Soul, actually, because music can touch your soul a little bit and hopefully you can get a little out of it and that's kind of it. And this is a song that's called Might Last a Lifetime. And it's basically about the concept of enjoying moments, like the moments along the way. It's like the road, this journey that we're on. Basically, it. Digging on the moments, taking it all in. Riding changes laughing now and then I keep looking for the happy it just passed me by let's just keep on keep on trying I'll be running till I fly last a lifetime you get the love you put in it not as lonely high as you climb saints and silver linings hanging in the clouds I used to run for cover I let them find me now Stop holding out for someone Something or someplace Stop fantasizing comfort Estimating grace last a long while you get the love you put in it now it's up turning the long mile right in front of me is a flower in the rain happiness is not a place 
Thank you. Glad you did. Thanks, thanks. All right. Huh? You know what? See, that's that's a good one. See, you just turn around, and next thing you know, like, damn. Yeah. doing all of them. This is a song of It's not on the list. It's a song a friend of mine by the name of Gerald Tillman. He used to play with the Neville Brothers back in the days. He was a uh, big time teacher. Taught me a lot. When we were coming up, he wrote this tune. And it's kind of in the same vein, it's called Starting Over. Fresh dog, 
Just I'm gonna call another audible. We got I got like a song list and then I'm just going rough rise. I'm going renegade. So sing along. Please y'all sing. Try. 
Thank you. All right. I got to do this one. I heard my Uncle R.T. sing this song a bunch of times. And it's, I got to do it. I got to do it for y'all. Thank you so much. Is 
It's a song that never brothers used to perform, probably thousands and thousands of times. Also written by Mr. Joe Tillman. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right. Thank you very much. We got one more tune for you. And then we're going to make way for Carl Dentz's tiny universe. I've been here. Devin Trusclair, once again. Devin Trusclair. Encourage me while I was playing. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. But I wanted to explain something to you. See, like I don't consider myself like like I'm. I mean, I'm more of a songwriter kind of guy than a real like a piano player cat, right? I really don't consider. Myself, but the, the New Orleans got some bad piano players. They come out of New Orleans, right? Bunch of bunch of cats. And the funny thing is, all of them play that song slightly different. There's a slight little variation from Professor Longhair. That's his, he, he, he started it. He did the original version. Now, Alan Toussaint, Alan could play it probably closer to Fest than anybody that I'd ever heard. But he also played it his own way. Dr. John, he played it different than those two guys. Art T played it different than them. I actually learned it from James Booker. He taught me that song. Right, and but over the years, I've incorporated little bits and pieces of the different versions that I've heard, because they got some subtle stuff when they go, when they go, when they go. I just want to share, just want to share, because I got, I got like, I got five minutes, so I got time to show you. This, this is a three-minute song, so it's it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny because they got this thing that happens when they go. See that. But you could go, you could do that. Oh. See, that's like, it's some funny shit. It just occurred to me while I was playing it, and I was thinking about RT, how he played it, and how, how Alan played it, and how Mac played it, and everybody played different. So I just wanted to share that with you. So, this, uh, and this is, huh? so along the course of that song we played, how many times do you change the way you play it? It just varies. The song? It varies. I might change it in mid song. I might think of another version of it. Right, right. And it's one of those songs that if you consider yourself any kind of piano player and you from New Orleans, you got to be able to play that song. If you can't play that, I, you got to play that. You got to play that. You got to play that. All right, so that's all. That, be that as it may, we're going to play the song. Sorry, buddy. Hey.
things change and rise light up. Can you feel the love we are generating? Feel how we feel it. So happy to be here with you guys this weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. Can we show some love one time for the Snozberries? Let's hear for the Snozberries. Let's hear one time for the man back here, Doug on the bass.
machines will let the machines do it all for you, for you, for you. Pretty soon, oh, oh pretty soon, they'll be coming to a town.
bit like a cat of time. Still at the ceiling, don't know where I am or why. Through the walls of a new day, as the light hits the corner of my
orgasmic set from Ivan Neville. Without further ado, it's time for Carl Denson's Tiny Universe. Make some noise, Salvage Station. Hello.
Welfare.
Hands on the guitar.
me how it is. Tell me about the war going on inside. Or tell me all the reasons. Is it possible to win? I never break what's always been him. All I know is we're gonna be alright if we stick together. Oh, do you know what it is? Then tell me how it is. Or can you feel the rope slipping through your hands? My fingers bleeding. The mascara on your eyes. Yeah, you're used to drawing lines. All I know is we're gonna be alright. We stick together. I stick together. I stick together, I stick together. Can we trade? Can we trade? A little piece of you for a piece of me. Can we trade? Can we trade?
was kind of lacking. All right, we're going to leave you with a little bitty message from this song. This song is called, Can We Trade a Little Bit of You for a Little Bit of Me? A different point of view and a remedy. So we can't have a different point of view if we don't listen to each other. If we don't find out what we're thinking. And try to come up with a logical, rational conclusion. So the first thing we got to remember is that people are people are people. People are just people. They're not groups. They're people. So talk to people like they're people, not like they're groups. You might find out something. And second and the most important part is we're all in this together. No matter what you think, you might live in the mountains, I might live by the sea, but we're still all in this together. So what we want you to do for us, just one thing, it's just one little thing. Stick together.
Well, they lost me on that. I, I was trying to count them out, and I was in the wrong place. Sometimes it happens. But that's always a good thing. We're going to do an old song. How many of you know who Donovan is? All right, we're going to do an old Donovan song, and we're going to invite the doc over there. Mr. Ivan Neville is going to come play some piano for you. Yeah, you guys share. Share.
on the face show.
Thank you so much. Hey, Ricky wrote a new song. This is called Crisco. over there, y'all.
on the guitar. See you burning up. Close the 
baby, can't you see I'm burning up?
appreciate being able to come back here to Asheville. We love this city. I just did some kind of a, I did some kind of an interview for a, a documentary about the orange peel. So just in case you guys see that coming down the pike. But uh, this is a beautiful room and we love coming here. So, uh, and and you know what? I got it. I got it. I've decided tomorrow morning I'm turning over a new leaf. I was, I was strictly a laughing seed guy when I came to Ab Asheville, and somehow Rocky's hot chicken got in there. And <laughs> those chicken pot pies are so good. <laughs> but uh, but I'm, I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm going back to the laughing seed tomorrow, and, uh, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that my stop for the next several years, and, you know, we'll see. But, but I'm, 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 laying off the, I'm laying off the chicken pot pies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go to the laughing scene. <laughs> All right. So, so anyway, hey guys. So we're in. We're living in strange times. People are telling you, telling each other, crazy shit. They're making everybody scared of each other and all this nonsense that really shouldn't be happening. And we need to. We need to fix that. So we just need to remember every day that you are your brother's keeper. Contrary to popular opinion, they're trying to make you feel like you're, everybody is all separate, and that's nonsense. We are all in this together. We did not spring up out of the earth like, like fungi or something. You know what I mean? It was fungi in the very beginning, but, you know, at, at some point we, we looked at each other and said, Hi, how are we going to live here together? You know? So we got to keep doing that, and we got we to gotta, we gotta keep working towards, I'm trying to get to Star Trek people. I want to make love to a polka dot woman, and everybody loves her, okay? I want to meet a polka dot woman, and I want to bring her home, and I want to say, Mom and Dad, this is, this is um, a spot. And, um, and, <laughs> and, they, and they say, hi, spot, how are you? And, and we live happily ever after, and nobody even questions it because it's not their fucking business. You know what I'm saying? Okay? So... That's where I want to go. I want to go to Star Trek where everybody's living their best life. Everybody's enjoying each other living their best life. And if you have to work harder, you just work harder at it. You don't complain. You don't get pissed off. You don't hurt people. You just work hard. All right? So um, this is called Brother's Keeper. Lying in my 
bed on my own top pillow when a thought runs through my head. Who would hear the sound? Who would even notice? I could pick me up if I was to fall. Let us not forget that chances go around, and everybody can need a little help, y'all. The world is shrinking fast. And a wise man said well, that the first will be last. You and I are we. I'm just trying to do. I do for you what I hope you would do for me. Cause everybody can need a little help, y'all. Whatever it is. Listen to this people. The answer to the question is. Listen to this people. So if you want to know. Listen to this people. If you want me to show you, listen to this people. Whatever it is, listen to this people. The answer to the question is, listen to this people. So if you want to know, listen to this people. If you want me to show you,
So much Asheville. Thank you! Thanks so much, Asheville! <laughs> no, we're doing one. <laughs> Look at you. She's ahead of the game. You're a planner, aren't you? You're <laughs> You're <laughs> All right, we're going to do one more. This is a... This is a song about getting, getting it done and forgetting about all the self-loathing and self-doubt and all the nonsense that goes on in our brain and realizing the things that you are, okay? There are certain things that you do well. You know you do them well, but you still parse them all the time. You still go back and forth and just go, oh. Okay, we're going to stop that right now, and we're going to move on to the things you really got to work on. But the things you know are good, Stick with them, believe in them, and do that. This is called Bougainvillea. It's about a beautiful, beautiful flower with really large, mean thorns. Heat and six. Miami Heat and six. <laughs> Oh Lord, you know, you know, I have to say, for those of you who know me for, for the 25 years I've been doing this, this is kind of a brand new band, and the best thing about this band <laughs> is that they love sports as much as I do, so we're, I, I can actually have sports conversations on the road, it's like the best of both worlds, so um, anyway, Miami Heat beat the Boston Celtics, yes! 
All right. Don't mean to insult anybody, but they did. That's what happened. <laughs> All right. Back, back to work. Oh, look at 
summer. Cheers, Asheville. Happy Saturday night. Thank you so much for being here with us. We appreciate and love you all. Thank you. <laughs>